Welcome to Key West. We uh, drove down from Orlando. We're staying in Marathon, which is on one of the keys a little ways away from Key West, but it's much cheaper. We made the drive out this morning down to Key West to see the sights. It's beautiful here, and I'm already feeling overwhelmed with what to look at because there's so much cool stuff. There's a lot going on. <laughs> surpassing sloppy joes which you might have to make a stop in later but it's known it's very famous and well known here in key west and i think ernest hemingway maybe like hung out there or did something there i don't know i'll have to look into it a little bit more but we might have to make a stop in there later today and now we're just walking on duval street and seeing the sights That's like famously um, Ernest Hemingway's drink, it's the Death in the Afternoon, which yeah. is an absinthe based drink. Can they sell it here, Paolo? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> if you look at any, any menu, you can find the Death in the Afternoon here. So we're starting off by walking down Duval Street, which is kind of the main tourist street on yeah. Key West. Lots of look at, a lot of shops, a lot of dining, a lot of bars. <laughs> My only experience with this kind of style before this is the old Key West Resort. And I gotta say, I see, I see there's resemblance. Um, it's definitely got the light pastel colors and the kind of like slatted window shades, and I definitely uh, see see how old Key West the resort came from this. But like a beach, beachy Charleston. Yeah, it's like a southern city, like Charleston, which is the other one we've been to, but beachy. <laughs> wow, look at that, a Margaritaville store. Very authentic. We'll find another one when I'm ready, or maybe we'll wander by it again. We got rainbow, uh, rainbow crosswalks here, okay. and a rainbow building called Beach. <laughs> Little hat scenes. So down at the end of Duval Street is this lovely little beautiful beach. Beautiful beach. Yeah. We just walked all the way from kind of the, I think, northern side of the island on the other side of Duval Street. Now we hit the end of it on the other side. There's a yeah. little statue here that is a tribute to all of the... Uh, Plastic That's writers, pretty cool. Including Hemingway, and there's also like Robert Frost and others. Wow, the water is so clear too. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, this is good. Kind of want to go swimming. If I just fell in the water. <laughs> and if you walk just a block down from the southernmost part of Duval Street, you get to the southernmost point in the continental US. There is a legitimate, gigantic, probably hour long line to take a picture 
in front of the point, which we're definitely not doing. But there it is. If you remember a few months ago, we were at the southernmost point in the entire U.S., which was Nalehu, uh, Hawaii. And now this is the southernmost point in the continental U.S. So after our little trip to the southernmost point in the continental U.S., we got slushies. They've got little stands around that sell slushies in little cups. You can walk around with them, seemingly. <laughs> um, and so we did that. Yeah. And it wasn't even that wildly expensive compared to Disney. It was like 14 bucks each, which is like, that's what you're going to pay for a drink at Disney. Yeah, <laughs> and it's great. It comes in these cute little yeah. cups. Yeah, great color. It says southernmost point of Cuba. <laughs> we love it. Or not, not southernmost point of Cuba. <laughs> oh southernmost God. point of the continental United States. I love this. It's good. You know, there's a rooster under this truck. What's he doing? Just hanging out. You know you're in a, a tropical town when there's chickens and roosters wandering <laughs> the streets alongside the people. He's cute. He's very cute. We should get a pet chicken. We should get a place with space. Is there a difference between chickens or roosters? I think roosters are boys and chickens are girls. Jungle vibes. Strategically, <laughs> <laughs> we're now actually pretty close to getting back to the park. We found ourselves at the Hemingway House. After a short walk from the southernmost point of the US. Um, we're doing a tour in just a little bit. Um, and before that starts, we'll walk around. We'll see the garden. Yeah. And maybe the writing studio. I think he called it a writing studio. Let's see what that's like. Water bottle area. Yeah. 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 Oh, I heard that they have. Yeah. Like, and the Hemingway House is famous for having a bunch of cats running around. and. A mere five minutes into being here, we found our first one. Another cat hiding in the bush here. A little guy. He's very cute. Doesn't have anything to do with the 
License to kill with Timothy Dalton. This is where he was standing in that movie when they tried to shoot him from the top. So we did the tour. It was very cool. They asked that we didn't record it, so we didn't, but we saw lots of cool things. We'll put in some footage that we got from the inside of the house that wasn't the tour. Um, yeah, apparently Hemingway had four wives, and uh, I think there were 70 cats living here when he lived here. Yeah. Now there are 59 cats, so it's like a cat sanctuary, just like <laughs> literally right now I'm looking at the nature on the planet with the cat over there. Um, <laughs> To be Everywhere honest, go, he also didn't seem like that nice of a guy. No, uh, it seems like Ernest Hemingway probably kind of sucked. But cool house, cool cats. Cool house, yeah. yeah. Now we're going to head to lunch, and I think we're going to go to like this hangar style restaurant. It might even be called hangar, hangar bar or something. We'll see. Yeah. So the Hemingway house was $18 per person, and then I think maybe children were free or cheaper. It was cheaper. It wasn't free. I gotcha. want to say it was 12 uh, um, and yeah, I think it was super worth it. It was very cool to see. It was nice to get out of the sun and into the shade for a little while in the blistering hot Key West weather. Yeah. Um, I think we'd recommend it. We found ourselves at the First Flight uh, Island Restaurant and Brewery, which has this nice little outdoor seating area. And uh, so far it's great. We'll see how the food is. <laughs> yes, it is nice that it's in the shade, and they gave us water, which I already drank all of mine, because it is so hot, even in March. We're starting off with their deviled eggs and fried jalapenos, and they look very good. Give it a try. Waiting for the ranch for the jalapenos. Yeah, she's bringing us ranch for the jalapenos. She recommended it. Good. These are really good. Good. Very creamy. Pretty basic. <laughs> Going right for the ranch. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's really good. I don't think I've ever had a fried jalapeno like that. That's really good. I like that. Maybe better than this. And I got the buffalo chicken Caesar wrap, which came with these fries. And Aaron got fish tacos, which came with some kind of weird beet soup. And what is that? I think it's just beans. Oh, beans, not beets. I see. Oh. That, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> Buffalo chicken Caesar wrap. <laughs> Spicy buffalo. But good. Very good. So many chickens. Nope. Beautiful. So where exactly are we going for? Some beach. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fort Zachary Taylor Beach. Okay, that was on my list actually. Oh, good. So we're heading there and this walk is just beautiful so far. I think we're in some kind of gated residential area. But they said we're welcome to walk around in until 6, but I think it's kind of like a okay. private property thing. Love it. Yeah. I love all of these yeah, older looking houses. Beautiful. I don't know if they're even. They might just be a style. Honestly. Yeah. And we've been seeing roosters everywhere. We made it into the state park and now we're going to the beach, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do a 
Let's go in the water. Same. So we found our way down to the beach where the uh, water is beautiful and uh, the sand is nice and it's just a great place to hang out. Um, it's about a 25 minute walk from like where the Ernest Hemingway place is. It's not too bad, although it's a little tough in the heat. Yeah. Um, we're not going in because we have cameras and stuff, but uh, we dipped our feet in and it was very nice. Yes, and now I'm distracted by this iguana, I think. Yeah, was... somebody pulled an iguana out of the water. You're not able to see it, it's too far away. But on that rock is like this gigantic iguana thing. It's weird. <laughs> so I think that's about it for us. We're uh, trying not to get too burnt. So we will uh, probably call it quits with the beach for now. And uh, maybe head back into the main part of town. And uh, see if there's anything else to do there. Yeah. Okay. I think that's about it for our whirlwind tour of Key West. We loved it. We're definitely yes. going to come back. We'll come back and stay in town now that we know that it's it's worth the high prices. For sure. But we saw a lot of stuff. We did the highlights. Yeah. Um, I come back again soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it'll be really nice to stay inside and not be like an hour drive away. But other than that, it's a great day. Yep. Cool. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.